Welcome back. My name is Dr. Amber. I love talking about all things peptide therapy and especially how to improve energy and performance for busy professionals. So if you're a high performer, you're an athlete, you're an ambitious lady boss running your own company, this is the channel for you. I am a naturopathic doctor and I love helping people optimize their health so they can be successful really in all other aspects of their life. I believe that health is the greatest wealth. So thanks for joining me. Today's episode, we're going to dive into what is peptide therapy and answer your questions around that. So if you're curious, if you've heard about peptide therapy for optimization of athletic performance, recovery, brain function. Stay tuned. We're going to talk about all things peptide therapy. So what is a peptide? Peptides are naturally occurring in the body. They are consisting of single amino acids hooked together like boxcars in a train. Typically, we think about peptides as being 50 amino acids or less. However, there are exceptions to the rule. Growth hormone, for example, is considered a peptide. It's classified as a peptide, but it's 191 amino acids in length. And so we have exceptions to the rule, but in general, most peptides are less than 50 amino acids in length. A new revolution in healthcare has begun to take place, and it's really understanding that these short chains of amino acids that we call a peptide, they're actually found in our body. We actually eat them in our food. We consume proteins, which break down to peptides, which then break down to amino acids, which are really the building blocks and they signal in the body, similar to what hormones do. So peptides, how do they really work? Essentially, we can cause very specific signals that peptide or that amino acid combination will bind to the cell and it can actually cause a different signal for protein synthesis, for repair, for energy production in the cell. And so we're really using these peptides as what we call bioregulators, we're trying to regulate the system, regulate different tissues. And we can use it for reversing chronic disease and also to prevent the aging process. We're working on cellular efficiency. And so this is really anti-aging medicine at its best. It's utilizing these short chain peptides to signal the cell in a way that we want to support the body. And the great thing about peptide therapy is that it's bioidentical. Our body already recognizes these peptides as our own. And so because of that, the side effect profile is pretty low. There's not a lot of drug interactions like you would think about drug-drug or drug-herb interactions that tend to happen in medicine. Peptide therapy is, is something that is very much uh, familiar to our bodies. And so what is the goal of peptide therapy? We really want to maintain the cell in a state of homeostasis. What we're doing is what we're, we're reproducing what the body already knows how to do in signaling and neurotransmitters and hormones and enzymes. We're just improving that process. We can really improve chronic disease parameters. So we think about the pro-inflammatory cytokines that are being produced that drive pain, that drive depression, that drive a lot of these chronic illnesses, that drive neurodegenerative disease, diabetes, autoimmune conditions. What's the driving factors behind that? What signaling is lost and what are we producing that we should not be in some of those chronic degenerative cases that we can use peptides to promote healthy cellular signaling once again. And so we can also impact even things like telomeres. There's a peptide called epitalon, which is really good at lengthening or promoting telomerase. We can use some of these peptides to really impact parameters like longevity and your health span, not your lifespan, Yes, your lifespan, but your health span. How healthy are you while you're alive? Slowing down that aging process. 
They can be viewed as the master regulators of many of the functions in the body. And so each peptide does a very specific thing, which means we can therapeutically target a problem without influencing other functions within the body. Like in contrast, hormones may act on a number of bodily functions. So if we give thyroid hormone, for example, it can work on skin, it can work on heart rate, it can work on sleep, metabolism, and so on. For this reason, peptides generally have had more rapid responses with fewer side effects. There's really five different categories in which we can use peptides for therapy. Some of the main benefits of peptide therapy include immune regulation. We can really support normal immune function if somebody has autoimmune signaling happening in their body or poor immune function as they age. Our thymus gland tends to shrink to one-sixth of the size, and so we lose our immune function. We can use peptide therapy for neurological repair and regeneration, as well as central nervous system health. So thinking about supporting brain function, memory, cognitive power. If you have a job or schooling that you have to have your brain sharp for, peptides can help here. Also for mood changes, we have peptides that can really help regulate anxiety and help in depression for some of these uh, changes in mood. Because there is a model of depression and anxiety that's linked to these pro-inflammatory cytokines that are produced in the body. Sleep is also another thing that we can optimize. We can optimize deep sleep. We can optimize cellular repair while you are asleep with peptide therapy. And so that is the fountain of anti-aging and youth is really working on sleep. And then musculoskeletal healing. So for somebody who has been injured, they've been in a bike accident, they've been in a car accident, we can really reduce pain by working on inflammatory cytokines, reducing the production of some of these inflammatory chemicals. And many of our chronic conditions now are actually related to too much of these inflammatory chemicals being produced in a feed forward cycle. So how do we stop that? Peptides can be really helpful in the process. Also, we can use peptide therapy for digestive health. So promoting healing of the GI tract, we have peptides like BPC-157, which you can check out my other video that will be linked here about BPC or body protection compound 157. And our body makes that naturally. It protects our mucosal lining in our gut, in our uh, GI tract. And so we can use these for reducing inflammation in the gut when we have inflammatory signaling there. Peptides really can be used for systemic wellness, but also can target very specific systems that may not be functioning normally or in a healthy way. Peptides can be dispensed through compounding pharmacies and really ideally should be done under the supervision of a licensed medical professional, somebody who's trained in these therapies like myself. I would strongly discourage anyone from ordering these peptides online they're just not tested and you don't know where they come from most of the time. And so it's imperative to use only the highest quality. If you think about wanting to find the highest quality food and supplements to put in your body, you would not want to do anything less with it, something that you inject into your body. If you're curious to learn more, we actually have a free PDF that walks through a lot of the frequently asked questions and some of the most common peptides, you can go to peptideplaybook.com to enter your email to get a free PDF that walks you through a lot of the frequently asked questions. Thanks so much for tuning in and don't miss the next video on peptide therapy. We'll see you next time.